don't have to prove anything There's room at your table for me I am the one you love I am the one you love Hello everyone and welcome back to Worship Keys. My name is Claire and today I will be teaching you how to play the song The One You Love by Chris Brown, Jason Ingram, Phil Wickman and Stephen Furtick. I think I'm saying Stephen's surname incorrectly so please um correct me in the comment section below it's based on the recording by elevation worship the key is d flat tempo is 68 beats per minute and the time signature is four over four um i am basing this off the live video on youtube um i think that's still elevation worship but Chandler Moore is um, leading and singing the majority, um, or, or if not all, of the song anyway. He's leading and singing the whole thing. So that's what I'm basing it on in terms of structure and everything like that. That's what I'm basing it on. Um, just in case the original recording has a different structure, that is what I am going on. So I will be going through all the different sections, the verse, the chorus, the turnaround, tag, um, the there's more than one bridge and there is a really beautiful ending as well and at the end of this video I will play through the whole thing sing it for you perform it for you so hopefully when you are ready you can play along and sing along with me um, and also I should have chapters in this video um, I've started to include them hopefully they should be in my last video as well so that you can skip to the part that you want to learn and hopefully play along with me at the end. Now, if you are liking these videos and you want to know more, just hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell and um, yeah, comment below and let me know of any more um, requests that you may have and I can add them to my list. Let's start with the intro. So we've got four chords that are going through on the intro. So we've got a B flat minor, a G flat, a D flat, and an A flat. The B flat minor is this. So we've got a B flat, D flat, and an F. Then we have a G flat. That is a G flat chord. We've got G flat, B flat, and D flat. Then we have an actual D flat chord as well which we have D flat, F and A flat. And then we have an A flat sus chord, which a normal A flat is A flat, C and E flat. But um, uh, an A flat sus, even though it doesn't say, it should really have a number on it to tell you what note is actually suspended. But in most um, contemporary Christian music, it is normally a sus two. Um, which would mean that the second note in the um, chord is suspended. So our second note in our A, C, E flat, A flat chord is actually a C and that's what's suspended and that goes up to a D flat. So now for an A flat sus, we've got A flat, D flat, E flat. Now for this intro and actually... Uh, what we're going to do in the introduction will carry on going in the verse. Um, so they've done a normal B flat chord. Then they want our next chord is a G flat, but they want a B flat on the bass. So our normal G flat. But you can see B flat is our second note in the chord. And what they want is the B flat to be the bass instead. So we're going to do a B flat, a D flat. And then a G flat. And this is what you would call an inverted chord because we're not starting on the root note of the chord. So we're doing a G flat, but we are starting on the B flat, which is the second note in the chord. And then the next um, chord is a D flat, but starting on an A flat um, uh, as well. So that would be our normal D flat is D flat, F and a flat that is our d flat chord but we are starting that on the a flat instead so so we've got an a flat d flat 
and an F, and that gives us our D flat chord starting on an A flat note, uh, A flat on the bass, and then we have an A flat sus, and we've got an A, a normal A flat, A flat C, E flat, and then we want to do an A flat sus, which is suspended, um, which is normally note two of the chord. So our C needs to be suspended it will go up to a d flat so we got a flat d flat and e flat i hope that was i hope that wasn't too complicated because even for me that was complicated <laughs> and so but you will, should be seeing all the chords up here so you can come back and go over this section again so we've got our b flat then we got a g flat with a b flat on a bass then we have a d flat with an A flat on a bass and an A flat sus. Now this hand is going to be doing a few notes. So we have got D flat, E flat, F and E flat. And each note will be played with the chord. So we've got four chords to go through and each note will be played with that chord. So if we start with our B flat, on this left hand and on the right hand, we're going to be hitting a D flat. Then we go on to our G flat with a B flat on the bass and we move on to an E flat on our right hand. Then we move on to the F note on our right hand and we move on to a D flat with an A flat on the bass. And then back to a E flat on the right hand and on the left hand an A flat sus. So we just go through. So that is the intro. We're just going to keep rolling through this particular pattern. And then the singer will come in or whoever is going to be singing or if you're singing, that's great too. Um, you can come in with the first verse and the pattern will be exactly like that for the first three lines or four lines, um, depending on how I put it up here. <laughs> um, but the last line of the verse will be slightly different. So we can keep rolling through this. So we got B flat, G flat with a bass, B flat bass, D flat with an A flat bass, and an A flat sus. I can be real with you. Keep going, keep repeating. Say anything and not be afraid. So, and now we're on our fourth line. We are going to keep going and the singer will keep singing. So we keep rolling. You made me, you like what you made. You made me, you don't make mistakes. Now we're on our last nine. So we're going to do our B flat minor. I can be, I still are G flat with a B flat on the bass. Real with you so when he says with you then we hit our a flat we can do our a flat sus chord on both hands with you a flat sus then we can go back to our normal a flat so we're just going to change that middle note from a d flat to a c and these two notes are going to stay the same with you a flat sus and then a flat okay so if we go through that verse real quick Remember our note and I remember our chords, B flat minor. I can be real with you. A flat sus, B flat minor. Say anything and not be afraid. You made me like what you made. You made me, you don't make mistakes. B flat minor, I can be. B flat with a G flat on the bottom, a G flat with a B flat on the bottom, B real with you, A flat sus, and then A flat. 
that's our verse then we're going to go on to our chorus which we start with a d flat so i would uh particularly stay a little bit higher up actually it's one of the reasons why we're a little bit more zoomed out today because um this song kind of spreads out a little bit so i want to make sure all the keys are visible so we can actually stay up here to do our d flat chord for our chorus so once we have done the verse then we go on to a d flat chord to start the chorus again i would stay a little bit higher up on the on the keys because um it seems very uh laid back or stripped back at the moment so um it being a little bit higher would be quite nice and we could just stay up here and do all the chords so let's hit our d flat to go on to the chorus you take me just as i am then we've got an a flat chord with a c on the bass so this left hand can hit the c and this right hand can hit the a flat chord a flat c e flat you choose me all over again b flat minor now i am the a flat one you love g flat i am the one you love d flat my d flat again is spread out even on both sides so our, our normal d flat chord is um d flat f and a flat but i'm just going d flat a flat d flat okay you don't have to prove anything a flat with a c on the bass there is room at your table for me b flat minor I am the A flat you love G flat <laughs> I am the one you love So for the turnaround or tag um we are doing the same chords as we did in the chorus um but I would come a little bit lower now down on the uh, keyboard so I would start my D flat down here and the pattern I was hearing was um individual notes so A flat with a C on the bass, B flat minor, A flat, and then G flat. And we repeat that one more time, D flat. A flat with a C on the bass, B flat minor, A flat, and then G flat. So basically all I'm doing there is cycling through the different notes of the chords. So if you know the chords uh, the notes of D flat chord, you can just go through them and just keep the rhythm A flat now with a C on the bass. I just made sure I did that first. B flat minor, A flat and G flat. Okay, so now we're going to move on to verse 2. Verse 2 is um almost exactly the same as verse 1 the only difference though i wouldn't do the that again i would actually just um just actually hit the chords on both hands as you can see so i'm hitting a b flat minor on both hands i know you're proud of me So I'm doing it exactly the same as I did before. So B flat minor, then we've got our G flat with a B flat on the bass. Then we have a D flat with an A flat on the bass and then A flat sus chord, but I'm just doing it with both hands now. I know you're proud of me. A flat sus, B flat minor. even though i don't deserve it sometimes b flat minor so uh again with this the next line no i'm not a perfect child is the same so we keep going no i'm not a perfect child let me do uh but i still make my father smile b flat minor i know you're G flat with a B flat on the bass. <laughs> You're proud of me. So this is our last line. So all we do is we've got a G G flat with a B flat on the bass. Then we go straight to a A flat sus. 
of me. Then we go back to the chorus with our D flat chord. So I would again, I would come back down. So verse two, you can be up here as well, because I, I thought it really sounded good. So when we go back to chorus for the um, second time, the chorus again, which uh, is repeated twice, then we can go back down, further down the keyboard to make it a little lower. You take me just as I am, A flat with a C on the bass. You choose me all over again, B flat minor. I am A flat one, you love G flat. I am the one you love, D flat. I don't have to prove anything, A flat with a C. There's room at your table for me, B flat, A flat. I am the one you love, G flat. I am the one, go back, repeat, D flat. You take me just as I am, A flat with a C. You choose me all over again, B flat minor. I am A flat one, you love G flat. I am the one, you love D flat. I don't have to prove anything, A flat with a C. There's room at your table for me, B flat minor. I am A flat one, you love G flat. I am the one you love. Then they do the turnaround again, which is the same chords that we just did for the chorus, but again, um, it's each note, so they want it a bit more spread out, so D flat. A flat with a C. It's me, it's me. B flat minor, A flat, G flat. Repeat that again. It's me, it's me, it's me. D flat, A flat with a C on a bass. B flat minor. A flat and then G flat. Then we go to our bridge, the first bridge, um, which is 1A. I think that's the way I'm going to put it up here. 1A, this is the first bridge. We don't do, I don't think we come back. No, we don't come back to, to this one actually. I'm just going through it. So bridge 1A is we've got a D flat chord with an F on a bass, a B flat minor and an A flat. So this is our... D flat chord which I have spread out but then on this hand I've got the F on the bass your love your B flat minor love never fails your A flat love never fails they repeat this four times <laughs> your love your love never fails your love never fails that's twice third time your love, your B flat minor, and then A flat. You can keep this pattern. Your love, your love never fails, your love never fails. Now on that first bridge, that bridge 1A, I felt that it was still a, uh, still a little bit um, relaxed or stripped back. But when they go on to bridge 1B, you hear a lot of instruments coming in, so you can be louder if you want to. Um, now, the difference in bridge 1B is that we still have our B flat minor and our A flat, but the first chord is now an E flat minor. We actually haven't come across this chord yet. So we have got an E flat, G flat, B flat. That is how we get E flat minor. So it's the same. Your love, your love never fails, never fails. Your love never fails. So we got E flat now. Your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. Your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. They repeat this eight times, which I'm not going to repeat eight times. But we just keep rolling through these three chords. E flat, B flat minor, and then A flat. So after this, they go back to the chorus. So we go back to our D flat. So after we've done our A flat is our last chord in our bridge 1B, then we go back to chorus. And I felt that the first 
line and second line were a little stripped back and then all the instruments come in so we can just keep it as one chord you take me just as i am a flat with a c you choose me all over again b flat minor i a flat one you love then right here when we do our g flat i would uh, do this particular pattern i am the one you love huh? I hope you understood that because I didn't even look at the words by bad. So we'll keep it simple here. D flat. You take me just as I am. A flat with a C. You choose me all over again. B flat minor. A flat. I am the one you love. Now our G flat. We can do that quicker. I am the one. D flat. I don't have to prove anything. A flat C. There's room at your table for me, B flat minor, I A flat one you love. Then this last, um, I am the one you love. They do it slightly different. I am the one you love. So as they're holding that note, we go back to the turnaround or the tag, which are the same chords as the chorus. So let's do the last line of the chorus. I am the one you love. G. I am the one you love D flat, hold that And go A flat with a C I am the one you love I am the one you love D flat, A flat with a C Next chord I am B flat minor Then an A flat And then the G flat and then they go back to bridge 1B again, E flat minor. Your love, B flat minor, never fails. Your love never fails. Uh, they repeat that eight times. Your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. Nice and loud for the first four times. So this is our fourth time. Oh no, this is our fourth time. Here we go. <laughs> your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. So they do it four more times, but I would say a lot quieter. So I would come back up, further up in the keyboard, so we're higher. Your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. Four times. Your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. Your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. That's four times. Here we go. Fourth time. Okay, so now we have the ending, um, which again is those same four chords, E flat minor, B flat minor, and A flat. But there is something going on with the right hand. So on the left hand, I'm just going to actually just play the chords and one chord per bar. Your love, B flat minor, then A flat is held for two bars. So we've got E flat. Our B flat minor and A flat. Sorry, that's an E flat minor that we start with. So, so. That is what's happening on our right hand. So we've got B flat, D flat, F, then E flat twice, D flat, B flat, D flat, then F and then E flat. So really slowly. And that is repeated three times. Um, there is a few words that um, Chandler Moore says while he's playing this part. Um, and you play the, the chords E flat minor, B flat minor, and A flat. So you can do it really slowly. Nice and slow. Now, um, how actually Chandler plays it is that he's actually playing the notes, um, both notes in the octave. So we've got 
our original note that's here and also the same note an octave higher and he's playing it together the whole part now you can practice that you can see my hands are really stretched out so i can hit both notes <laughs> So stretched out right now um, so we start with our B flat so you can see how stretched out I am and then he's also playing on this hand the chords and you can do it really 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 slowly So for that particular part, you can keep practicing. You can do it just with the, or you can try and stretch yourself out and do that section as well. So he repeats that particular section three times. He says I'm like I'm a testimony so, I don't know the exact notes that he's singing but I hope that makes sense oh I've tasted and I've seen I am a testimony so once he's done that three times you just saw me do it three times. Uh, do your, uh, keep going with the same chords, E flat minor, B flat minor, and A flat sus. But I would come right down because we are ending. So would come down and he repeats, your love, your love never fails. Your love, your love never fails. Your love never fails. A flat sus, E flat minor. Your love, B flat minor. Love never fails. Your love never fails. So that's how it ends. So he only does your love, your love never fails twice at the end. So we've got an E flat. Your love, your B flat minor never fails. Your A flat sus love never fails. Keep the A flat sus, go back to E flat minor. Your love, your B flat minor never fails. Your A flat sus, your love never fails. Then do an A flat and then do a G flat. We are ending on the G flat. I wonder if that bothers anyone else because that's not the number one. <laughs> and I wonder if that, it just kind of feels not resolved to me. <laughs> but I wonder if anyone else feels that way. Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, we have gone through all of the different sections of the song. And what I'm going to do next is completely perform the entire song for you. And I will um, be playing and singing. I won't be calling out the chords, but you will see them up here. So when you are happy and confident, I would ask you to play along and sing along with me. can be real with you say anything and not be afraid you made me and you like what you made you made me you don't make mistakes I can be real with you you take me just as I am you choose me all over again I am the one you love I am the one you love I don't have to prove anything There's room at your table for me I am the one you love
Even though I don't deserve it sometimes No, I'm not the perfect child But I still make my father smile I know you're proud of me You take me just as I am You choose me all over again I am the one you love I am the one you love I don't have to prove anything There's room at your table for me I am the one you love I am the one you love Love It's me, it's me What a privilege
That's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If this video bless you, don't forget to hit the like button, click subscribe and make sure to hit the bell notification so you know when I next upload. And also comment below with any requests, suggestions or corrections. I'm completely self-taught so any corrections would be much appreciated. If you made it this far, comment below what country you're watching from and I'll see you in my next video. God bless. You love. I don't have to prove anything. There's room at your table for me I am the one you love I am the one